Hi guys, Rick here from 76. Today I'm installing a rear barn door table into a Land Cruiser 76. This 76 barn door table that we do um, will also suit the 78 series Troopy. Um, this, this is uh, supplied ready to go as well. So that's the actual product there, ready to rock and roll. All you have to do is fit it up. There is a little bit to it, so I will go through it step by step. Um, so yeah, hang in and uh, yeah, let's get this table fitted up for this customer. Okay guys, tools needed to install the rear barn door table. Uh, you'll need a drill, a nine millimeter drill bit, a uh, four millimeter Allen key, nut circ gun, uh, ear butt or paintbrush for touch up paint uh, for sealing up where you've drilled the holes. And uh, included in the kit is your assembly hardware, so you'll receive 10 nut certs and 10 screws. The first thing to do when fitting the rear barn door table is to remove the, the standard door card. Um, this can be easily popped off um, just using one of these plastic tools like that, straight under, pop it off. Don't use anything metal or it will score your paint. Uh, so once you get a couple of them off, you can just manually pull them off by hand. Uh, just like that there, and you just get a pop. Some of them do get a bit sticky, just keep using the tool on those ones. And that's it, pretty much. So that's it. Door card off. All right, so once you've removed the door card, we need to drill out these holes. Uh, and then once they've drilled out, we'll install the nut search here. Um, and we'll just go through that process now. Okay, so once you've drilled out the holes, um, you're gonna get a bit of iron filings that have come back down into the door there. I do recommend vacuuming these out. And then once you've done that, spray a bit of WD-40 into the bottom, just for the stuff you have missed. All that does is stops those little bits of rusting, which will eventually rust through the door. Okay guys, now that we've drilled the holes, uh, we've deburred everything, cleaned it up a little bit. Uh, we've done the vacuuming, we've also sprayed some WD-40 in there. We should be able to just prime these little bits of raw metal now. Um, if you want to zoom in on those, just as you can see there, there's a bit of raw metal. If you don't treat that, it will eventually rust. If you're on the beach, the salt in the air is gonna get in there and it will cause rust. So you have to, it's really important to do this stage. You can use a um, earbud uh, or just a little brush. So, but if you don't have a little brush around, just the earbuds do work pretty well. And just make sure you don't have a huge amount. Just sort of run it around like that and coat it and that's that, done. If you want to just zoom in on that quickly and have a squiz. There you go, so we've just coated that quite nice there. And this is a fast drying enamel paint, so it will cure very quickly. And that's it, done. So yeah, so just repeat the process on all 10 holes and uh, let it dry for a few minutes and then you can put your nuts in. Okay guys, once the paint is dried and uh, you've covered up all the raw bits of metal, uh, you can go and fit your nut certs. Um, so basically how this nut cert gun works um, is you just screw the nut cert onto it, like that. Um, you do have to set the height adjustment, so be careful on the first couple that you do. You don't want to damage the thread inside the nut cert. So I just put it in a little bit like that, and then basically um, push it in. It should be a really snug, tight fit. Um, and then just basically, you kind of have to feel it, just push a little bit until you feel that it's tight and then back out. And that's it, and then just remove the nut set gun. And the nut set shouldn't spin when you do that. If it does, go back and tighten it again and just keep adjusting it. Um, and that's that, it's in. And you can feel it if you want, there's like a pinch on the back, just if you want to double check to make sure you got it right. Uh, and then, yeah, that's nice and tight in there. And just to check it, you haven't gone too hard on the nut set, you can just check your threads to make sure you can actually Get them in finger tight. If you can't screw those in finger tight, you've, you've damaged the threads on the nut cert. Um, if that's the case, you got you got really only option is just to drill the nut cert out. You just drill the head, the flange head off it here. It's no biggie. Um, the only thing is you will have to get some spare nut certs. That's it. So yeah, let's continue that with uh, the remaining, and uh, and that's it. Pretty much, uh, we'll be ready to fit the table after that. All right, guys, we've uh, installed the nut certs. Um, so we are now ready to fit the table up. So the table basically line it up with the, the holes there, the nut certs, uh, and then just fit the screws. And that's pretty much it. It's a pretty straightforward job from there. 
Um, if you've got someone to help you, it does make it a bit easier, but the uh, best way to do it is to put your hand under the, the, the fold-out table here, line it all up, and be very gentle to do this, because obviously you can scratch the paint around the vehicle, uh, around the door card area, uh, and then, yeah, go from there and put them in. Start with the bottom ones. Like I say, just finger tight. Just easy to figure those in. Hey, once those two bottom ones are in, you can basically pinch it here with your thumb, drop the table down, and you can access the top screws. I just try and get as, uh, as many as I can in before I start tightening up just to make sure everything does line up. Um, we, there is built-in tolerances, um, and as you can see, these are going in very, very easily. I don't have to use much force to try and get them in. A couple more to go. These guys in up here. Okay, that's pretty much that done. And we'll just put the last two in on the bottom. to make it go in a bit easier and you're laughing. Table's installed now, um, so we've got all the mounts in, everything's ready to rock and roll. Um, the only thing we do need to adjust is uh, these cords here. So if you can come and have a close look here, um, you can see that there's this loose tether here. So how this works is just basically pull these out a little bit like this. Let's try and get it over here. And until you get the level you want. So you have to do it on both sides. Just do a little bit at a time until you get it sort of level. You don't want it completely flat. You'd rather have it a like slight incline. Um, uh, yeah, so just go with that and then we'll adjust that and that's it. Pretty much the install is complete. All the adjustments have been made. We've just adjusted the, the rope guards here to stop the table going too far down, too high up. So that's a perfect set now. Um, yeah, so to fold it away, you just lift it up um, and basically latch it on just like that. Uh, and then on the other side the same, beat the process, tuck those in if you really want. Uh, and that's it, you've got a, a, a rattle-free, tore-reading, lightweight table. Um, there's no rattles coming from that, uh, there's no clinking, clanking or anything. Um, specific what it is, and it weighs absolutely nothing. Um, so if you are still running your tire on your back door as well, having the lightweight option is, is definitely a benefit um, for relieving pressure off all the joints and stuff like that on the doors. So yeah, that's it. That's the 76 table installed and ready to go. There you go.